In the last couple of videos, we looked at what the TI-89 could do in working problems from algebra and trigonometry. Uh, the focus of this video will be on just uh, looking at some uh, problems from calculus, derivatives, integration, and uh, see what the calculator does. So we want to evaluate each of the following using the TI-89 graphing calculus. We want the derivative, that function there. Now, just to remind you here that uh, the, the two main functions you're going to need for this uh, video, you hit the F3 key. Number one is differentiate. Number two is integrate. So hit one if you're going to take a derivative. Hit two if you're going to integrate. Or you can also get it from the keyboard over here. Number seven, you get second. It's second, and then the seven key gives you the integral there. Or hit the second key, and the uh, eight key would give you D for derivative. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here: the derivative of two x squared plus seven to the tenth. Okay, so let's enter that again. Parentheses here: two x to the second plus 7, close parentheses, and then we want it to the 7th power, or 10th power, and then we want a comma, indicate the variable, and then close parentheses. And there you have it. Okay, so it uses it uses the chain rule to solve this problem. You get 40x, 2x squared plus 7 to the ninth. Okay, let's clear this now. And again, derivative is going go to f3 on number 1. Derivative again. And this would be the derivative of tangent, so I want second and then t here for tangent x. And then uh, comma, variable, indicate the variable, close parentheses, hit enter. And we get the derivative of tangent x is 1 over cosine quantity squared. Okay. And you might be used to seeing it as secant squared, okay? But remember, uh, secant and uh, cosine are reciprocal, reciprocal functions, so 1 over cosine squared is the same thing as secant squared, okay? The so same thing. Clear this. Go to the next one. So here we have the derivative of sine of cosine of x. So now keep in mind, this is not this is not sine x times cosine x. If that were the case, that would be the calculator would use the product group. But this is the sine of, so it's a composition function. So again, it's going to use the chain rule. So again, I'm going to have three, number one, and then I'm going to enter sine, so second, and then the y key up and then second and then e for cosine of x okay then close parentheses and then comma indicate indicate the variable hit enter and there we have it okay So it get, takes the, uh, uses the chain rule to get the answer. So you get minus, minus sine x times cosine of, okay, okay, and remember that's not times there, that's the composition function, cosine of, cosine of x, and that's your answer. Clear this. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, number four is just, uh, indefinite integral. We want the integral of natural log of x dx. Now normally if you're going to do this uh, showing your work and so forth, you would use uh, integration by parts. Okay, 
Uh, let's see what the calculator does. This time, uh, this time I'll get the second key in seven. Okay, so it's the integral of ln. So that's second ln of x, and then comma to indicate the variable x. Okay, hit enter, and there it is. Okay, x ln of x minus x. Okay. And there you have the calculator's answer. X, ln of x minus x. Clear. Go to number five. Now this one, if you were to do it, showing your work, uh, you would factor the denominator and uh, probably set it up as a partial fraction decomposition. So you'd use partial fractions more likely in this one. Uh, this time I'll go to F3, go to this menu, number two integral and then this will be 3 divide by okay so again careful with parentheses we need parentheses here parentheses x to the second plus x minus 2 indicate the variable comma x Parentheses, hit enter. Okay, so we get minus ln of, and then you got absolute value of x plus 2 over the absolute value of x minus 1. No, notice you could put this with just one absolute value. You would just write the absolute value of, and the quantity would be x plus 2 over x minus 1. Now, should you want to bring the negative over here? Your answer would also be natural log of absolute value of x minus 1 over x plus 2. Okay, so keep in mind that uh, you might work it out, and the calculator might give you a different answer, but again, uh, there's more than one way to write the answer. Okay, just like 1 over x is x to the negative 1, right? So, different ways to write it. So, you could get this answer here, or you could get uh, positive natural log of x minus absolute value of x minus 1 over x plus 2. Let's clear this. Okay. Now the next the next one is uh, a definite integral. Okay, limits from four to five. So uh, you're going to work the, the integration first, doing it the long way. Uh, you would probably use uh, a trig substitution. One of those uh, one of the three trig substitutions that you learned in uh, in calculus. But here. We just do it in the calculator. So again, I'm going to go to F3. Yeah, it's an integral number 2. Okay. So then I want the uh, square root. So let's see. Square root second over here. X. Excuse me. The square root of 25 minus X to the second. Close parentheses divided by x. Okay. This one, uh, we, we still indicate the variable. So it'll be a comma, and then indicate the variable x. And then the next thing we do is indicate the limits. The, the lower limit comes first from 4 to 5. So comma, this would be 4, comma 5, close parentheses here. Hit enter, and there you have it. 5 natural log of 2 minus 3, or I give it to you, negative 3 plus 5 natural log of 2. Okay, so again, uh, you can see the calculator can do a lot of these problems, uh, uh, calculus, derivatives, integration. Um, more than likely, your instructor is going to want you to show the work, but at least with uh, the calculator, you can you can go ahead and check your answer before you before you turn them in. Okay. Hope this helps you out. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.